Hey guys, Rob from Expedition Team here with a uh, install video of how I am modifying my AEV fuel caddy. So from AEV, you get a weighted siphon that you put this end in here, has a little bit of a, has a ball uh, and a little a large uh, weight. Put this into the little part of the tank, uh, you have to uncoil it, and then you put it into the filler of the Jeep and you shake the uh, you shake the tube, creates a little bit of suction, and it flows in. Two problems with that is, uh, first of all, it leaves about almost about two gallons, one to two gallons of gas is always sitting at the bottom of the tank because you cannot really get this real real thick tube, and you can't really you know maneuver it too well in the field. And uh, second of all, it's it's pretty obnoxious. It's it's real big. But it gets the fuel out really quickly. So what I have done is on my previous Jeep, I uh, permanently cut a hole in the in the top of the tank, put a, 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 a nipple on there, ran a hose to the low bottom of the tank. The low portion of the tank, there's actually two of them. One's down on the uh, far side, uh, the passenger side corner, and one is inside the well where the uh, spare tire wheel goes. So that's so you have two low points right there. So I ran it down there, but the problem was is that up here when I ran my uh, I have a gas tapper uh, fuel pump. It's an aviation grade, uh, general aviation grade fuel pump that uh, pumps the gas out. It takes a little bit longer to do about, this is about 10 gallons, it takes about five to seven minutes. Um, but the pressure would build up and sometimes the um, hose line would come undone. So what we are doing here is a complete modification is um, running a bulkhead fitting into the gas cap from AEV. Now the AEV gas cap is a, uh, you can't just go to AutoZone or Summit Racing and whatnot to get a cap because it's a, it's, um, the threads are on the filler, um, the part on the gas tank, that's where the threads are, where on most gas tanks the threads are on the cap. So it's an AEV fuel tank, Fuel cap. So I got from AV, dead center of it. I put a, I'm putting a bulkhead fitting in the center. Then I'm running a black fuel line. I'm going to a quick disconnect in my gas tapper. The reason why I'm doing that is the fuel line that comes from gas tapper is real thin. So in the summertime or warmer temperatures, it's really great. But in the winter, if it's been bulked up into the gas tapper, it kinks and it restricts the flow of the fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two quick disconnects on either side of the pump. So then I can uh, use the black fuel lines. It won't go into the uh, Pelican type case, the hard plastic case. Uh, and then another quick disc on the back side, and then it's going to go into the filler hole of the of the Jeep. So uh, I'm going to try to do this as close to step by step as we can. Uh, unfortunately, I already have drilled the bulkhead fitting, so it, that's a pretty simple step. I use my drill press. Tried to get as center as I could, used a step, a step bit, and uh, did that. And then I put some epoxy uh, filler around there just to seal it up uh, because it is going to be exposed to the weather. And then there's a cap on the top where that's where I screw in the new uh, fuel line. So uh, we're going to go step by step as much as we can. So here we go. All right, so here's the fuel cap right here. I have uh, just a quick... Uh, just a screw on the top. This is where it's going to screw onto. Uh, didn't do that good of a nice job. I got a lot of uh, the epoxy around here. And then I had to cut out the inside a little bit more to be able to get a, uh, a, a uh, open it, open box wrench into there to uh, tighten it down. Don't want to go too, too tight because this is just plastic. I'm, I'm crunching in between. So when I'm driving, that's all you really see is the, uh, the little top on there not as not very noticeable. All right, so here we are. So what we're going to do on one end is I have this, uh, just a basic fuel filter. I bought this on uh, Amazon. I'll put a link in the low, below. Uh, there is a filter on the uh, gas tapper and then there's a filter in the Jeep, but just another thing, another uh, filter. Um, and it adds a little bit of weight. So what we're going to do is you put that in and then we're using a uh, hose clamp and we're going to squeeze this down to uh, get this on. Now this is what's going to be always in the tank. Uh, I got all these other parts at Summit Racing. This is a uh, fuel line and uh, the guys at Summit Racing said that it is okay for it to be uh, exposed. 
And then, so the fuel line that came from Gas Tapper, um, you see here, is that it did discolor the brown stuff. That's what is what sat in fuel for uh, a couple days. Um, so it did discolor this, because you see here it's a, like a fluorescent, and it's a brown. So um, hopefully this stuff is a little bit better, and uh, so we're just going to screw this down. All right, so now for the inside here, we had to use, um, we put the hose clamp on, but it was difficult to get the uh, socket in there, obviously. So we got it started a little bit tight, and then we used a quarter inch uh, open, uh, open box wrench and just went in there and tightened it down. So now it's tight on either side. Okay, so we're here inside the gas tapper. Here's This is the fuel pump. It runs off of a cigarette lighter with an on and off switch. So these, uh, the two ends swivel back and forth, up and down. So what we did is we cut the black fuel line to about two inches so it can go, we can put this on here, put the quick disconnect on either side, and it has enough room to then fold down to be out of the way. So next we're gonna put on the, uh, the quick disconnects. All right, because this is gonna be pressurized, we are gonna put uh, hose clamps on either end of these, um, of the barbs when it goes, it, it, these are barbed on. Now these are, the quick disconnects have a little uh, switch that you push down and it goes in over a rubber gasket. We're gonna put this end onto the part that's gonna be coming off of the quick disconnect uh, just so it'd be easier to push it on this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a hose clamp. Pushes in. And ratchet it down. There you go, nice and tight. So I'll do it to the other one. All right, so now we're doing the last part of the hose. Uh, we ended up uh, putting the fuel filter on here. The line was a little bit short, so instead of putting it on the line that goes from the fuel pump to the to the car, to the Jeep, we're gonna put this on here, put it on there. It has a nice uh, quick disconnect. So disconnect it here. And then this is what will go into my little, and this whole hose will go into uh, my bag. All right, so now the last section is gonna be going from the fuel pump to the Jeep. And then what we need to do is add a quick disconnect on this side, and then I have a filler hose. It has a little bit of a spring on it, um, and then that's what goes into the filler neck of the Jeep. We're already putting hose clamps on all these, so we'll get these done now. All right, so it's a little bit tight fit. Put about half an inch in there. Get the hose clamp up towards the end of that. And tighten it down. Now this one, you don't wanna to go too tight, it's plastic, we're crimping plastic. There we go, it's all nice and tight. So we'll get it all set up now and show you how it works. All right guys, so here we are, it's a little working. It, it uh, really taps a lot when there's no fuel in the, uh, in the, in the uh, pump. But it's working really good, we got no, uh, no leaks. You see here the fuel filter, that there's fuel going in there. And uh, got no leaks at any of these fittings, looks really well. All right guys, so we're all set up here. Um, I had a couple gallons left in the Jeep, so to, uh, to work on making sure everything's working right. You do have to, for those of you who do have the AEV fuel caddy, you do have to kind of have to get up on top and get the hose down into the lowest part. I'm going into the lowest part where the wheel well for the spare tire goes. Um, I'm gonna leave a, a picture Gum up right now is where AV says the two low points are. So you, it's kind of hard because it's it's a black tank. You can't get inside. You can't see that's good inside. So I got it down as far as I can. And I got almost, I'd say there's maybe a quarter inch, an inch of fuel at the bottom. I've gotten as much of it out. We've gotten there, uh, put a light on top, you know, daubed it in as much as we can. 
So we got it going, and it's really great because there's no leaks on the first try. So all these quick disconnects are uh, holding up pretty well. You know, because we were pumping gas, it's going to, you know, regardless if there's only a couple of gallons in there, still had the same amount of pressure build up in with the pump. So there was no, no leakage or anything. Uh, I'll probably go over one more time on the hose clamps just to make sure that they're all uh, nice and snug. So I'm really, really happy with this. It, this gas tapper is a really nice setup. They have a whole bunch of, line, they have a huge lineup. I've had this for almost about five years, I'd say, and it works really, really well. Um, it does pump a long time. I'd say about to get the full 10 gallons, a full tank, it takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes or so. Uh, so it's nothing that you're gonna be doing real quickly, uh, but if you're topping off your gas, you're doing something else. It's obviously a lot faster to use a roto packs, um, but these are uh, more concealed. You don't have to worry about other stuff. It's vented, so I believe that the in I I'm not 100% sure, but I believe these are because it's a vented fuel tank. These are Coast Guard approved, so you can take them on ferry boats where roto packs are not vented. So technically, they are not um, Coast Guard approved. So kind of a nice little feature uh, with the AV one. It's snug behind, takes up no extra space. So um, I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description below. It'll be all the parts that I'm using. I uh, got them all from either Summit Racing or Gas Tapper or and Home Depot for the um, hose clamps. So uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We got a whole bunch of videos dropping. Uh, if you look back, we got the whole gear series of all the gear that I carry in the Jeep. Got the Pennsylvania BDR. Uh, got some other stuff coming up in Pennsylvania. Want to hit up Kentucky this year. Uh, looking to do a big trip to Uray, Colorado in the fall of 2021. So we got a great stuff. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to you in the bell notification. Make sure you're the first one to know when these videos drop. You guys have a great one. See you later.